hello friends and welcome to the unboxing of Stitch Fix 44. I have been a subscriber to Stitch Fix for years, years and years and years to the point that I'm at fix number 44. Most of my clothes are Stitch Fix at this point. So we're gonna unbox this and see what we have. But before we do, make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Uh, Stitch Fix is a styling service and you pay a $20 styling fee and they send you five items. You can decide to keep them or return them. You get a free postage paid envelope. They have to check out within three days of receiving your fix. It, it's really easy. In Stitch Fix, they have kids, they have men's, they have they now have plus, they have maternity. There's something for everyone. I've had the same stylist for years and years until the last couple fixes I've had somebody new. So I'm not gonna peek. Well, I will have to peek because I'm gonna tell you the prices. So if I keep the whole box, I get a 25% discount and everything will come to $235.75. So we'll see. I've got my postage paid envelope. And I love, I'm gonna take it all out. So I didn't get any shoes this time, which is fine. It's all nice and bundled. And that's what it looks like. So let's see. I'm gonna open it all first and then I'll try it on. Oh, who's my stylist? Let's do that. I want to peek. I can't remember what her name was. Carolyn. Did I have Carolyn last time? I think I had Carolyn last time. All right, so first thing. Oh, this is soft, whatever this is. Is it a shirt? Oh, it's like a three-quarter leave. Leave. It's a three-quarter sleeve. It is, oh, it's Michael Kors. All right, so it's Michael Kors. It's Padova printed knit top. It is $48. I did up my size, so we'll, we'll see. I uh, Since my last fix, I changed, went in and we went up a size, but that, that's fine. I find that Stitch Fix clothes tend to run a little small, so I would size up anyway. All right, what are you? Oh, that's different. This is by Paper Moon. It's a Reese mixed material top. It's in the color off-white. It is $38. I will say, I think I'd have to wear something under it. It's pretty thin. That's, that's, I like this actually. We'll see how it fits. Fit is my thing. And what do we have? What do we have? Is this a dress? Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, who's the dress by? It's a maxi dress. BB Dakota and Steve Madden. Oh my God, it's $129. Oh, $129. That's more than I paid for the dress, my gala dress that I wear in Las Vegas every year. And that came from like David's Bridal. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't know. I don't know about a $129 dress. Sundress even. All right. Are these pants? Are these shorts? What are these? These are Market and Spruce Lounge Eat It Sleep something. So, oh, is it a set? Are they pajamas? Oh my goodness. They're hooked together, but it's in this like a cream color and it's market and spruce and it's a, like a loungy pajama set. How much is this? $62. The shorts that I got in the last fix, if I remember, I'll link it below. It was, they, I love them. I wear them constantly. I actually wore them to sleep last night. So they're in the laundry at the moment. Oh, and then we have Studio Blue. I have a pair of Studio Blue pants from Stitch Fix right now that I love. So these are the Kenova Skinny Distress something. And they are $64. I don't know about the size. Although they stretched a lot, the last one. They look pretty high-waisted, but we'll, we'll see. My only thing with distressed jeans, I can't wear them to work. So on Fridays and I might be able to get away with those, but I tend to not do that. All right, let's try all this fun stuff on.
This is the Paper Moon Top and it's $38. I do like it, I like the print. And I'm kind of glad that I went up a size. I think it, it looks nice. So for me, this is like a maybe. I'm not in love, in love with it. And then it does have the elastic sleeves and they kind of bother me a little bit. Just where they hit because I think it's probably designed to be a three quarter sleeve, but I have really short arms, so it's coming down just like 90% of the way. I like the colors though, I like the white, I like this blue pattern. So, and this is actually, is this the cheapest item? Yes, and you do get to apply your $20 styling fee to one of the items, so. Okay, next item. All right. I was mistaken. This one is the Paper Moon. That last top was the Michael Kors top, and that was $48. This is the Paper Moon, it's $38. Um, I do like it, I do. I like the color, I like the fact that it's kind of neutral. I like the cap sleeves that make it work appropriate. Well, they're kind of, kind of between a cap and a short. So this, this, this is definitely a maybe too. Definitely a maybe. The market and spruce loungewear set. Um, I did keep my tank top on for some modesty and they're really comfortable. They are $62. I think I could find the same thing cheaper. So this is this is a maybe for me. This is the BB Dakota and Steve Madden Maxi dress. However, I like the color. This is a no for me, dog. Uh, there's something weird going on with the liner. I, it's not sewn right. It is many hours later. Actually, I was in the middle of trying that on and my battery died. So then I put in another camera battery and it was dead too. I don't know how it didn't charge. So we had to wait several hours for batteries to charge. And I had a terrible time getting this dress off. So we put it on my mannequin, Antoinette. She helps me with my live jewelry shows. Um, no, no. There's something wrong with the liner. I don't know what it is. I even had a hard time getting on Antoinette. It's like it's not sewn properly to the dress. And then also, I don't know if you can tell, but the drop waist is right here. And it kind of hits like at the crotch. And it looks really funny. So I just saved myself $129. I think I could find this dress something similar. I like the length. But I think I could find something similar to this elsewhere for a lot cheaper than $129. My last item were the Studio Blue jeans. Um, they're skinny, I thought they were high-waisted. They're not. There's like six inches from closing. I didn't, I was concerned about the size. I, I won't even show you because I, I don't need my underwear on the internet, but they, they don't work out. I'm not even gonna model them for you because they're just, they're not good. Now is the time where I have to decide what I'm keeping and what I'm returning. I'm definitely not keeping everything in the box. I've had some fit issues and I don't know what was up with that orange dress. But there were a couple things I liked, so I have to weigh the pros and cons and how much money I want to spend and all that jazz, and I will let you guys know. Well, the time has come. I've made my decisions. I've checked out. I have my items that I'm returning in this bag and right at the post office. And actually, the only thing that I ended up keeping was this shirt. So, I really liked it. Everything else was so-so or had some fit issues, so, or the price. But anyway, thank you so much for watching Stitch Fix number 44. And make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. See you next time. Bye!